Hey guys, and welcome to another basement review by Dominius. And today's review is going to be One Piece number 721. Uh, this chapter for me really felt down. I, you know, we're coming off of Luffy's victory. We see last chapter where Rebecca kind of takes him down and tries to kill him, blah, blah, blah. Um, and at that point, you pretty much knew. I was hoping we weren't going to get it quite yet, but we knew we were going to get the backstory of Rebecca. And so we get Rebecca's backstory as well as Mr. Soldier's, what's the importance of Mr. Soldier, and that's all fine and dandy. We knew at some point those two characters had to be brought out. Now, the timing, on, in my opinion, sucks because we've been at the Coliseum now for how many chapters? With no, you know, virtually no time spent on Sanji. Zoro, Law, and his fight between Doflamingo and... You know, the Vice Admiral? What's going on there? Um, we don't know. Uh, I mean, that's what sucks, is we're in the dark with those those characters, and we're getting Luffy and Rebecca FaceTime almost constantly lately. Now, it's not to say this chapter doesn't help the story. One Piece has this interesting way of telling a story which is through the eyes of other people because when you're going from island to island you have to do that Luffy doesn't when he when Luffy comes to dress Rosa he doesn't know what's going on with the toys he doesn't know what's going on with Doflamingo he doesn't know what happened prior to Doflamingo's rule so here you are uh, with a bunch of questions that need to get answered and this is one piece interest one piece's interesting narrative is they do it through minor characters that are introduced in that that area so this is just how they tell the story but i'll be honest i didn't want this story yet i wanted this to be more dramatic and right now i don't feel that's very dramatic to basically tell luffy um yeah the toys kind of are alive and you know they act like important people probably because they are <laughs> I, how how could no one have figured this out yet andres rosa that the toys are actually people that have been turned into toys i mean we see kind of an explanation a few chapters ago or last chapter i don't remember which where they explain it by saying this toy has the human disease where he thinks he's human but has a toy never said uh hey barbara you know i know your you know favorite food is this you know i know you like this in your pudding or you know something anything that you know just a loved one would know that because it's clear that the toys seem to gravitate back to their families otherwise you know, it'd be kind of, I don't know, it just seems to be what happens. And I think Toy Soldier is actually the old king, but that's just a hunch. Because she says, oh, he's like a father to me or something like that. And I don't know if she's the daughter of a king, but they do call her a princess. And so that, you know, they basically say she's part of the former royal family so whether or not she's a direct descendant or just somebody in line for the throne is interesting but we get this idea that she likes mr soldier because he's been protecting her for all her life and she he even tried to protect her mother which at the time she didn't you know she hated mr soldier for not being able to protect her mother but she's realized that he's the one who's been there this whole time trying to protect her and make her stronger and keep her out of Doflamingo's hands unfortunately 
as we can see, that's not what happened. She ends up in a coliseum having to fight. And we leave this whole scene basically with Rebecca crying because of the jeers from the crowd, the boos, the, and you can see it in Luffy's eyes. He's taking it personally, like Luffy tends to do. And this is going to be Luffy's motivation to fight. It's pretty obvious. Because Luffy seems to pick on, pick up on characters who, you know, have been wronged, should not be treated the way they are, or, you know, just have quirky things going on. And Rebecca kind of has all of those in different ways. So she's Luffy's motivation. It's pretty obvious. So... We have Luffy's motivation to fight. The question is, is he going to abandon the tournament and basically say, screw the fruit, I'm going to bust these guys out behind me who are probably not going to be able to fight too effectively, or what is Luffy going to do at this point? That's my question. So was the chapter interesting? Yes, the chapter was interesting because it explained another backstory of another island. That's, we expect that from One Piece. We know that's going to come eventually. But was it interesting in terms of the plot moving forward? No, not really. The plot didn't move forward. We didn't see what Luffy's going to do. We just got the backstory, and now Rebecca's going to fight. She's getting booed, and she's crying. So... I have to say that this chapter wasn't very good at advancing the plot. It was terrible. Uh, we got a lot of backstory, and don't get me wrong, that's important, but typically a good manga chapter will, won't will go into these long flashbacks where 80% of the chapter is flashback, and you have 20% that's in the present with absolutely no decisions made, no, nothing... There was nothing in the present that was done. It was Luffy. It, it, I don't even know how to explain it. It was, it was Luffy understanding what's going on with Rebecca, and it was Rebecca remembering her backstory. Big whoop. No plot advancement whatsoever. It's a little disappointing. So, guys, I got to say this was a below average uh, chapter. It's pretty, it very much is a setup chapter because we're looking and we're, we're looking for Luffy's motivation. We definitely found it, but Luffy, they leave Luffy kind of on a quote unquote cliffhanger of what's he going to do? Well, duh, you know what he's going to do? He's going to somehow help Rebecca reclaim her throne because it's pretty obvious Doflamingo did something to overthrow probably brainwash the masses, stuff like that, in order to take control of Dressrosa. So, but the backstory is important. It was focused on way too much. Anyways, guys, if you hate what I'm saying, neg me. I don't give a damn. I felt that you could have included a lot of plot, at least included Luffy's decision to fight, because we know it's coming. It's not a cliffhanger if everybody knows it's coming. So that's all I can say about this chapter, guys. Like I say, like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed it. I don't care if you neg me and say I'm the worst reviewer of all time if you hate me. So it's just I didn't find this chapter very enjoyable. Uh, if you guys agreed or disagreed, comment below. So, All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.